Okay, hi, I'm here with uh, Artem, and Artem is actually from Ukraine. Yes. And uh, he's a, a member of the Ukrainian Zond. Yeah, I, actually, I'm head of this organization. It's the head. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, yes, the Ukrainian Scientific Research Center of Analysis okay. for Anomaly Zond uh, is the organization that the part of the Aerospace Society of Ukraine, and we're working closely with the government and non-government organization. Now we work also with the militaries because, you know, the terrible war is going in Ukraine mm -hmm. uh, because of the Russia invasion and many, many objects now observing by the militaries uh, on the front line. Mm -hmm. So one of the tasks is to identify such an object uh, and to understand what is the uh, enemy's drones and missiles and what is the really UAP. And uh, the situation very similar like in World War II, you know, during the World War II, there was uh, many, many observations from the pilots and the air yeah. defense. Uh, Foo Fighters. Uh, yeah, yeah, so-called Foo Fighters and then uh, Ghost Rockets. Uh, yeah, and other names. But uh, the truth is that uh, uh, more and more observing points and system we used, uh, then more and more object uh, we will get. So uh, objects are always there. <laughs> It depends on us, we observing it or not, yeah? yeah? It is very difficult to connect all the monitoring system now together because, yeah. uh, you know, the, uh, unfortunately, we obtaining a lot of data, but we're analyzing, uh, we as a humans, we're analyzing less than 4% of all data and we uh, lost many of data uh, forever, yeah? yeah. So that's the problem. And I, I think this conference, a uh, brilliant example, uh, how to connect many people, many researchers in this very, very specific field, uh, in the goal to uh, uh, connect people to organize something new. Yeah. Because yeah. Dalin, I think, is the most known example of the scientific approach to the UAP uh, in one hand. And on the other hand, uh, Hills Darlin Wally is the place where the phenomena seem not one time during the year, yeah, but yeah. seen continuously each week, literally, yeah. We, uh, we was uh, here two nights on the mountains and we see two times the UAP, yeah? Yes. yeah. Uh, I'm shocked. Uh, Did you record it with video? Yeah, well, and... I, I, I'm recorded the first uh, case. Uh, we were used uh, our uh, night vision electronic device. Yeah. And uh, we make a footage uh, that there was a ball uh, sitting on the other side in the slope of the hill mm -hmm. uh, and pulsing very slowly. So, yeah. and, and yesterday, uh, we were seeing the very, very uh, fast phenomena, but very bright. It, it, it appearing in a blue, clear sky, uh, uh, very fast. Uh, it was like a flare. Uh, I just, I was too late with my phone, yeah? But yeah. because it, it disappeared immediately. Mm. But it was no according to my experience of observation, because uh, we do it uh, dozens of years. Uh, it was not... Uh, Meteor or a satellite mm. or, or starlings or something. Yeah, yeah, it was really unknown. So I, I'm appreciated actually. Yeah, I was really impressed with uh, the the depth of your organization and how you have this uh, uh, yeah, research. Yeah, yeah, we are publishing one of the form of our activities that we are publishing an issue of uh, scientific articles. It's called. Anomalous phenomena, methodology, and practice of research. Yeah. So we inviting now the people for the new one that we're planning to publish in the 2025. Yeah. Uh, and also we inviting the famous researchers to the editorial board membership. Mm. And we try to compare the scientific uh, approach using the methodology with the uh, observation devices and electronic optical system, thermal imaging, and also. Now we uh, uh, taking uh, we paying attention to the contactees, mm. uh, to the personal experience. We yeah. uh, our point of view that we just cannot ignore 
the uh, people experience. We cannot separate, okay, we will um, uh, do the observation of the flashlights, but, but ignore the people who contacted with the unknown. Yeah, it yeah. is the same. And uh, yeah, for example, in Ukraine, we, uh, because Ukraine is a very ancient country, we uh, have a huge folklore uh, um, uh, devoted to the contact with unknown. We, we have many names for the mystical creatures yes. uh, with uh, the similar effects that we're now observing in the Malaw zones, uh, like in UAPs, yeah? yeah. Uh, even in this land, they call it fairies, dwarves, or uh, yeah. uh, some other creatures. So trolls, yeah. Trolls, trolls here, yeah. The, the, this is the same. Okay, yeah. uh, literally not the same, but people, uh, people are, are contacting with someone, someone uh, some unknown, but uh, their explanation is different, yeah? yeah. Uh, of course. But uh, in uh, in other hand, this phenomena uh, reacts to our expectation. It's mm -hmm. like reflecting our thoughts, our beliefs. Yeah, it is a very sensitive topic, uh, but we should deal with it. Yeah. I was also impressed that you're working with uh, the military very closely, and the, the yeah. you have two videos. That I've already showed one on my channel. Yeah, uh, yeah, that came from the Ukraine front lines, uh, recorded from yeah. a from a drone. Uh, but you had another video of, of five orbs, I believe, flying together that I, uh, I hope to analyze. Yeah, I've showed three video. First uh, video, well known, uh, it, it, like a cloudy disc uh, that uh, fleet our floor front line. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other two videos, uh, one showed the row of four. Uh, objects both shaped line, yeah. and then five objects we shaped. Yeah. yeah, okay, three yeah. videos, excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and this show a problem that uh, uh, now uh, along the front line are deployed uh, uh, thousands of uh, different monitoring systems uh, and uh, military is reporting us and reporting to commands that they see not only the obvious enemy objects, uh, but uh, also see something unknown. Mm. And they're asking what, what we're going to do with this. It is cause danger or not? Yes. Yeah, because that's the main question. That is, uh, the first question of the UAP is the question of the national security. Mm. And uh, it, it is a question for all countries because it's like a higher space domain. And uh, uh, each country need to know what is going on. Mm. Yeah, uh, because uh, the AUAP is affecting to people not only in folklore, not only in the mines, but also they like a part of ecosystem. Yeah, and they uh, visible on uh, or in not visible on radars. So this is the physical objects. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and the, uh, the UAP is creating some fields, uh, uh, magneto fields and electrical fields as well. So we need to understand all these techno signatures yes. to uh, compare it with all our known uh, physical uh, like objects and other things. Yeah, uh, and uh, also the uh, the other part of the UAP mystery is the uh, like a uh, new technology development, yeah, because when the UAP demonstrating something very unusual, like a teleporting, uh, as as we see yesterday, yeah, the phenomena appears literally from nothing, then move fastly and then disappears. Hmm. So it uh, it absolutely unbelievable uh, for our engineers because uh, we cannot. Yeah. Create a aircraft or a drone yet that uh, could demonstrate such a characteristics. Mm -hmm. So it is other uh, like a field of interest for our militaries too, because uh, when there's some uh, object demonstrate unknown characteristic, uh, yeah. how we can operate with this? Can we copy some of this characteristic, or yeah. or we can develop uh, some new? Uh, drones uh, using this knowledge, yeah. Wow, excellent. And I, I saw that you did a, um experiment over the past week, your team did here in Hestalen, where you yeah. put out 30 uh, sensors. No, no, it's what's not my team. It ah. was a German team, yeah. Oh, I'm but, sorry, okay. But, yeah, it is, not, it is okay, but uh, the uh, curious thing that 
deer. Um, oh, it was uh, the same sensor. Yeah, okay. they, they, you, yeah they were used a uh, food box uh, yes. uh, for the uh, like uh, cover for the uh, inner equipment. Yeah, but yeah. in Ukraine we're developing uh, measurement equipment too. Okay. We use we're using uh, the uh, developed by us special equipment consists of the magnetic, uh, gravitational, uh, humidity, temperature, and pressure sensors. Hmm. So uh, we using the long live batteries and we placing such uh, devices uh, in Alamalo zone where people are reporting for us the, for the UAP observation as their anomalies yeah. and uh, leave it for the months or months and half. And then we comparing the data, and sometimes we see something very unusual, uh, where the gravitation and the magnetic field changing simultaneously and dramatically fast. So hmm. for us, it is like uh, uh, evidence for the uh, an anomalies, yes. and uh, it it happened in the area where the people reporting for the teleportation and UAP observation uh, for um, dozens of years. So uh, it, it is a blessing that now uh, the sensors are very small, comparing yes. uh, uh, times uh, 50 years ago, yeah, yeah, and very cheap. So we can uh, produce many such uh, devices uh, and create like a net of the devices in some area. So uh, Hasdalen, it's a big area, but we can use more and more sensors and obtain the information here in the real time. Mm. And the other proposal that we propose uh, for the Shizdalen project that you, uh, that you can use a, a drone, a medical drone, when the camera capture uh, the object, uh, the drone automatically fleets towards the object to uh, make a be better footage. Yes. It, 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 it also, the advantages of the sm small, smart, and cheapest technology nowadays, yeah. Yes. You also, you mentioned new technology, you had an app as well. Uh, where yeah, people yeah, can yeah. Actually it, it, is a, it is a very, it is a very new and um, right example of the civil military cooperation in Ukraine mm. for the uh, better work of the air defense. Mm. Um, because unfortunately of the Russian full-scale aggression and the bombing of our city, uh, there were developed uh, a special application, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, each citizen could uh, download it for him or she mobile phone, smartphone, and use it. Uh, this is the application when you can report immediately what you see. You see the missile, you see the drone, you see the aircraft, or you see the UAP, UFO. Yeah, oh, yeah. Excellent. exactly, and. Uh, um, this is uh, brilliant because uh, we are uh, connected with this database and obtaining in uh, real-time conditions uh, all the uh, thousands of reports. Okay, just one report is nothing because it's just a dot with the coordinates and the number of witness and uh, well, the, he or she see uh, UFO, but when we see all the map and... Uh, uh, the time lapse, we can uh, uh, predict the movement of the phenomena mm -hmm. and compare it with the other data. Uh, for example, with the observation of the satellites, starlings, uh, cosmic objects, uh, balloons, uh, mm -hmm. missiles, drones, and so on. Yeah, so, it seemed like a, a large amount of data where normally you get 30 reports, you say, okay, these are probably mistakes, but then you'll get a large spike yes, in reports yes, and now that cues yeah, you off. Yes, of course. Yeah. And uh, it is very important that uh, such an application invo involves many uh, people uh, who are not uh, interested in UAP itself, but uh, they're interested in national security. It, it increased the uh, people awareness level. It is very important because uh, each people, uh, each citizen uh, should be uh, uh, like a, a world, uh, citizen of his country and uh, help uh, his country to understand what is going on in the sky. Yeah, of course. Excellent. And then final, final point. Okay, um, okay. This uh, is in English and... Uh, in Ukrainian, yes. And yes. you mentioned you were just talking about you also did an experiment to actually 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we, we have done many experiments. One yeah. of the experiments that we done uh, uh, during uh, 10 years or more, it was an experiment to discover um, uh, uh, very sensitive metastationary systems. Uh, it, it was um, it was named Storsin, torsional indicator, and it consists of the very, very small uh, scene uh, uh, paper stick and uh, suspended on a simple, uh, single um, uh, silkworm wire. Silkworm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was placed very uh, deep in the basement level of laboratory. Um, and the Faraday net uh, made of steel wire. Inside what? a Faraday cage, yeah, buried yeah, in the basement. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and you know, uh, according to classical physics, it, 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 it should not react on anything because <laughs> there are no reasons to disturb it. But yeah. this system actually started rotating with uh, unknown reasons. And uh, we uh, have discovered the correlation of this rotation with the... Um, yeah some astronomical events, like oh. an eclipse, like uh, lunar phenomena, And uh, one of the uh, hypotheses was that the gravitational constant is uh, not a constant. And we yeah. see like, uh, you know, like a small shifting or variables. Yes. Yeah, because uh, I think everything is variable. Uh, mm. Constant is Relative. like... Relative. Yeah, constant is like uh, our... Uh, uh, thoughts assumption, yeah, yes. to make a uh, task decision simple, hmm. yeah, but uh, you know, it was uh, the real world <laughs> and our uh, understanding of the world is not the same. It, yeah. That, it's, yeah, it's an amazing experiment. It reminds me of uh, Bob Salas, where he mm -hmm. actually interacted with the nuclear missiles in yeah. the U.S., even though they were inside of a Faraday cage, uh, uh, et cetera. Yeah, we're living in a mystery unknown world, so let's yep. uh, discover it together. Excellent. And so how do people contact? Do you have a website they can look uh, at? Or yes, of course. You can Google uh, Scientific Research Center of Anadim Zone. We have a Facebook group and site and YouTube channel. So, okay. of course, uh, Excellent. you're welcome. Yeah, and support Ukraine. Thank you for USA people for supporting Ukraine so much. So glad your, your team made it here. I was very impressed. So thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. It really helps and it's free. Consider subscribing to get future notifications of when I release videos. And you might like this video. If you want to support the channel, join these great people over here, get exclusive bonus content, then click this button here, patreon.com forward slash Chris Lato or become a YouTube member. If you want to continue the discussion, go to UAP Society Discord. Links are all in the description. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.